I had a dream! I must make a jet-powered vacuum cleaner. Ah, the, oh, oh, oh. This is my current vacuum cleaner. Now in the UK these are called Henry's. I don't know if you can get these around the world and they're also called Henry's, but we're not going to call ours Henry, we're going to call it Frank, because we're going to stick a jet engine in it, and Frank Whittle designed the jet engine, and also we can't call it Henry, because I do believe Frank Whittle's arch nemesis was called Henry, so he's not going to be happy and be turning in his grave knowing that something in design has been put in something else called Henry. I'm going to get the jet engine out of the land speeder. We're going to sink it in the top here. That's the plan. Now, will it work? I don't know. It might just starve it of oxygen and not run properly. Or it'll suck through here like a jet engine. <coughs> Sorry, a bit of a cold. A little fuel tank, some electronics, little doodahs with a little throttle down here, and then off we go. Fabrication, build, montage, commence. <laughs> Made this little plate. <laughs> That's no moon. I was going to put that on there and then stuff the jet engine in it like that so it's sucking up just like the electric motor is. But Richard Browning, who lent me this, said they do not start very well in the upright position. So therefore, we'd have to tip it like that. But then I kind of thought, well, why don't we just have the jet engine in this orientation? Who's that? Okay, I think she's complete, she's ready to rock. Um, I've not got, the, um, not got the cover plate on it at the moment, so it ain't gonna suck like a hoover, but we'll just see if it runs, basically. Might be a bit loud for the shed, but you know. Radio.
<laughs> I see no problems in this. Fear not, I think I do have a solution to this. So, when we tried to start it with the panel fitted, couldn't get enough oxygen, got too hot, that'll destroy it. But I think I've got a solution. Got these little vents, and then once it gets up and running, I can put these little copper bits back over it, and then hopefully it should suck down here. But the true test is, is it actually gonna suck anything up? Frank, are you gonna be any good? Right, turn you on, let's start you up. Right, I've got some lentils, because I don't like lentils, so they may as well all go in the hoover. The vacuum cleaner, Colin, it's a vacuum cleaner and I think you've spelt it wrong on the side. It does work, but jet engines do definitely do not want to be vacuum cleaners. So then, can I use this in the house? Hmm. Oh, come on, Not sure what the cleaner's gonna think of it. No, no, me no use no jet vacuum. Hey, round of applause for Frank, who's made my house smell. Now you may have seen some strange looking people in photo frames throughout this video. They are YouTube members which sent me their pictures. So thanks to all that did that. Sorry I couldn't include you all. Now of course if you want your face in a picture or you want to be included in a video like that, all you've got to do is become a channel member. Click on the join button below the video. It's 99p, it's really good value. You get money off merch. And like this video is not sponsored but jet engines are very expensive. It's a great way of supporting the channel. Now, the next project is a big one. I am making a Russian screw tank, full hydraulic powered screw tank. So subscribe, you don't wanna miss any of that. It is gonna be awesome. Oh, what's this? Are you ringing me up? Hello? Hey Colin, you know that engine I gave you, that little jet engine? You reckon I can have it back? No, no, you not get it back. 